Hey, 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 what's going on out there, tech world? Elric here at Tech of Tomorrow. Now, even though I know that most of my fans are not the hipster type of dudes, you know, wearing the tight jeans and the bend gate and all that stuff, my friend Jonathan from TLD still gave us one of these brand new iPhones. Now, this thing comes to the market at $749. And you guys are probably wondering, like, why in the hell, Elric, would we invest our money into an iPhone? Well, actually, this one is the 10R. It's a white version. Um, there are some pretty nice features about it. First of all, it features a, a liquid display, so it's just like their high-end monitors. It has a killer resolution of 1,792 by 828, 326 pixels per inch. It has this oleophobic like anti fingerprint thing on it so like if you're you know so if you're like messing around with the phone it's gonna like make sure your fingerprints don't all get all the phones so you probably might not even have to like use a screen protector um it's photo capabilities are supposed to be really nice and all that stuff so if you're someone out there who doesn't really care you know about whether it's pc or whether it's mac and you're just looking for something killer to run around with today we're going to bring you the unboxing but i also was able to get a hold of the brand new pixel 3 so we're going to be doing a comparison video between the Pixel 3 and this particular phone, the brand new Apple iPhone 10R, and we'll see which one actually excels in taking photos, doing video and sound and all that kind of stuff, and actually, you know, which one looks better and sound better as well. We'll bring that video to be a, pretty much a phone battle head to head, kind of like we do the video battles. But with that said, though, let's jump in. Let's check this out. First, we'll see that nice 6.1 inch screen. Like I said, it's got great resolution. It's an IPS screen, so you know it's really high quality and all that stuff. There's no reason for a phone to have like a TN panel on it and be super fast because there's just no reason for it in the phone. You're not going to be playing that fast of game. It's better to have it looking so that you have absolutely the best text, the best color, and best everything. And obviously with the type of screen that's in this phone, it will bring that to the table probably without a problem. And that's one of the things that I personally thought that was lagging on the previous generation iPhones. A lot of them had screens here where you look at the resolution is like, eh, compared to the other phones, it really wasn't anything. But with that said though, let's jump in right now. Let's do the unboxing. Let's see what comes in the box, talk about the OS and a few other things and see at the end of the day, just what in the heck is an iPhone 10R? And is it worth $749 of your hard earned cash? I don't know, let's see. All right, so in case you haven't seen it, here is the box of the brand new iPhone XR, which I call the iPhone XR, which is, you know, technically correct as well, but some people may be picky. Now, powering this bad boy is the A12 Bionic chip, and this particular box, there's not much to it. You can see the front, the side, on the back, you can see this is the 64 gigabyte version. They have a higher version. They go all the way up in price, like over $800, depending on what you need, but this is the entry level one. I did bring along my trusty little Batman knife, to go ahead and get a couple little cuts in here and open this bad boy up, make it nice and simple for us. And I mean, really, who doesn't like a Batman knife? I mean, come on, I do. You know it's cool, admit it. So let's go ahead and make a couple slices here, some slicers and some dicers, and get inside of here and hopefully not to wreck and totally destroy the phone. So I gotta be nice and gentle like a surgeon here and I'm gonna cut these little things out to do a nice little unboxing and not damage the beautiful little iPhone since it's not really mine anyway, but it belongs to John. So I don't really want to des destroy his box. I want to get it as nice and clean as possible without damaging it, which uh, may sound really easy, but it's not. But now I go ahead and just take all that plastic off. Ba-boom, we can get that off to the side. And here you go, blah, blah, the earth. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. What do we got here on top? All right, on top, we've got design by Apple in California. It's better than being made by orange in Detroit, yeah. Um, I guess, or a lemon in Santa Monica, right? Okay, much better. All right, we'll get that out of the way. Now, here is the phone. We'll go ahead and see what's all in the box. So in the box, you get the phone, you get the power charger. Obviously, the power cable is going to be underneath there. You get the nice headphones. There's a charger right there. So power plug, the charger, the headphones. And these headphones actually do sound pretty decent. They're not bad headphones at all. I know some people may knock them, but um, I've heard you know other ones that other people had, and they sound pretty decent. They're not bad at all. So let's go ahead and set that aside. Now, like I said, this particular phone has a 6.1 inch screen. It's an IPS screen. Let me go ahead and peel all the plastic off of here and just get it all off of there. Get it all out of the way. So it's brand, brand spanking new from the factory. So. The front, like I said, the screen is really nice. It's an IPS screen, has a really, really high resolution, like I said. Um, also, the fact that it has that that new poly, polyphobic, whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that exactly right, but you guys heard I said it right earlier, but it actually keeps from making fingerprints on the screen. So when you're using the screen, it's not gonna get all messed up. Now, 
On the back, we're gonna see the Apple logo. We're gonna see the camera. Now this is a 12 megapixel wide angle camera. It has a 1.8 aperture, digital zoom up to 5X. It has portrait mode, portrait lighting, optical image stabilization, a six element LED, a six element lens, quad LED true tone flash with slow sync, panorama up to six through three megapixels, sapphire crystal lens cover, just a lot of features, including a hybrid IR filter, a lot of features inside of the camera on this particular phone, which is why I said, hey, I'd like to really do a battle between the cameras. Now, also another thing cool about the camera is you can do 4K recording at 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, or yes, believe it or not, 60 frames per second all off of the iPhone XR. So that's pretty, really, really nice. Digital zoom up to 3X, optical image, optic image, I still have trouble saying that, optic image stabilization for videos, extended dynamic range for videos, um, all in all, nice stuff. You can do it 1080p, 720. It's just got a lot of different features, which we'll get into actually more when we, when we do the comparison thing. So, and on the front, there's actually another camera they call this the true depth camera it's a 7 megapixel camera with a 2.2 aperture pretty much all the same other features though as the rear camera all in all like that's it it's already ready to start me up and do all that stuff but i'm not going to register this phone now all of your wi-fi antenna are called bands and you can see them both on this side of the phone and on this side of the phone as well so you know you're going to get good wi-fi reception since the antenna is actually built into the entire phone pretty much Taking a look at the right hand side of the phone, right here we have your wake and sleep button. Then down here you have your SIM card slot. It comes with a little tool like this, nice little tool right here. You just take this tool and you insert it here and push down. It opens it up nice and simply. Insert your SIM card. Actually, you insert your SIM card in here. Put it back in here and stick it back in the phone and hopefully don't drop the phone on its side, but uh, there you go. Now. And on the left-hand side of the phone, pretty simple stuff here. You just have a silent ring button and your volume up and down. And last but not least, for those of you wondering, hey, Elric, what iOS comes inside of this phone? Well, it comes with the brand new iOS 12. So like I said in the very beginning of the video, if you're a person who doesn't care, you're non-centric about whether it's, you know, whether it's Apple, whether it's PC, whether it's Samsung, whether it's Android, if all you want is a phone that's very easy to use, I will say this, a lot of my friends, a lot of my doctor friends and everything, they all do have iPhones. My mom has an iPhone, um, Jonathan at TLD, all of his friends around him, all of his hipster buddies, they all have iPhones. And so there's a reason for that. They are in a lot of ways easier to use than the Android versions. Now me personally, I have a Samsung. I'm used to using the Android version of stuff like that. I'm not, you know, a big, 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 you know, fan of the phones, but there are some very nice features about this phone. The screen is actually really, really nice. It's a very beautiful screen. Um, all the features inside of it are up to date, it has fast process or all that kind of stuff. And I mean, a lot of the new things that are coming out these days, whether it be video cards or phones, they're all going to be like in that range. It's pushing a thousand dollars and sometimes even higher. You know what I'm saying? So it comes, what would you really be using more? A video card or using a phone that's going to be really simple and easy to use. So we'll be bringing you guys a video, like I said, comparing the Pixel 3 against this phone in a head to head battle. And let's see which one of those two phones actually at the end of the day would be worth your hard earned cash. So if you're looking to check out more information about these, we'll have links down below to John's videos on this particular product, as well as where you can pick one up over on Amazon and support the channel. Um, I'm Elric. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys back on here for more tech here on Tech of Tomorrow. Peace.